Hey, I just want to take a few moments to comment on Shakari Richardson not qualifying for the 100 meters. She did poorly in her first round. I'm not sure what happened. I didn't see the race, but I was just seeing through social media of how she did not make the, she did not advance in the, uh, out of the first round. So, wow. I wonder how she feels right now. I mean, her season was going pretty well, not too bad. I mean, she won a couple of races and been running some decent times under 11 seconds. So, wow, this is going to be something because you know, it really, like I was saying in my earlier videos, it really helps that she is in the mix in a lot of these competitions because she just brings so much attention to the sport, you know, with her personality. And and also, you know, lately she has really uh, picked up, you know, how she, well, the apparel that she wears is very interesting, very exciting. And you know, just very flamboyant and exciting to watch. And now I guess she's going to focus her attention on the 200 meters and about the 200 meters. I mean, that's not going to be any easier as well. I mean, you have quite a few young ladies running under 22 seconds. Gabby Thomas, Abby Steiner, Tamara Clark. Uh, I'm sure there's a few others. Avenia Battle. Maybe she's running in it too. I don't know. But um, the competition is going to be just as stiff as the 100 meters was. So it's going to be interesting how she does. I mean, she's really going to have to pull out a great performance to be in the top three because the track is going to be smoking. I mean, these ladies are going to be getting it. I mean... Gabby Thomas, you know, she probably run another 21.6 or 21.7. Abby Steiner, maybe she'll run a 21.8. Maybe she'll drop down to a 21.7. Tamara Clark, maybe a 21.9. And also you got Brittany Brown as well. I mean, you got a, quite a few young ladies um, that is a lot faster than she carry is. So we just have to see how she does, you know. Um, wow. I'm I'm actually surprised, you know, to see see this because and you know, I you know, I, I feel for her. I feel bad for her that she wasn't able to make it because after going through all that she went through last year and to try out for the trials again and not make it based on a poor performance, that has to be devastating. So you know, I just you know, I just have pity for her right now, you know, it's just you know, I, I'm not going to be one of those that's going to throw stones at her and laugh at her, make fun of her, whatever. You know, it's uh, the competition is very great. It is very great amongst Americans. And, you know, it just lets you know that um, these young ladies are not kidding around. I mean, uh, Twanisha Terry, Aaliyah Hobbs, Tamara Clark. They're running under 11 seconds in the 100 meters. They're not playing around. They are getting after it, you know. So not sure what happened, why she ran such a slow time, because she is way much faster than that. And she was expected to be at least in the top three or win it all. But anyway, we'll see how she does in the 200. You know, hopefully, you know, She'll be able to pull it out. Once again, the competition is going to be very steep, very steep. And I have to be honest, I just don't see if she's going to be able to make it. I mean, it is it is going to be hard. Uh, just looking at the Jamaican trial, seeing that, and it's going as business as usual. I mean, Shelly and Fraser Price, she posts another... 10.7 Sharika Jackson does her thing she wants her heat Elaine Thomas hurrah wins her heat I mean it's just business as usual for the Jamaicans and they are looking primed and ready to go for the world championships so anyway I'm gonna go ahead and try to catch as much as the U.S. track field championships as possible I'm sure it's gonna be a lot of fun and you never know we may be in for some very nice and pleasant surprises so this is a sports twin. I'm signing out. Y'all have a good night.